familiar with the works of Nassim Taleb? Um, I'm, I'm reasonably familiar with them. So I, I think it's um, fair to say that he has, he, he talks about the idea that people, and especially modern people, have a failure to recognize the unknowns unknowns, right? the, yes. the unknowns as such. Yes, right. Um, That's a good way of thinking about it. Can, can you move the mic up a bit so that people can hear you a little better? Thanks. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, well, I was wondering, do you think that that failure might, might be in some way related to the way that modern people fail to relate to the idea of God? So, in the sense that, you know, people can't really grapple with the, the notion of God, right? Like, as much as you can give a rational argument for it, you can't feel God in the way that perhaps a more religious person or a more, um, an older person might have um, felt God. Do you think that that inability to recognize the unknown unknowns might play into that, you know, well, that, okay, so that seems to me related to this idea of the absence of necessity. So, something like that is that, you know, because I think that, I think that what you're, you're making a claim, maybe tell me if I've got it wrong, that if you're sheltered too much, then it, it, also, it also separates you from anything that's divine. I guess that might be right, because there's not enough intensity of experience in something like that. Is that, is that, part, of the, is that part of the issue? It, it, it might be more related to the idea of um, like realizing the absolute infinitude of what you don't know, like the, like the mysterium tremendum, mm -hmm. like that, that kind of, uh, you know, if you believe that through statistical analysis you can get everything under control and you, you genuinely believe that at some point you'll get it all under, you know... Yeah, wraps, okay, well, you, you so, know. okay, so, so... Well, that's also, I think, part of the danger of rationality that the Catholics have been implicitly warning against for, forever, is that ra the rational mind tends to fall in love with its own productions and then to worship them as absolutes, which is, I think, what Milton was trying to represent by his satanic figure in Paradise Lost. I think of that as like a precursor, a prophetic precursor to the emergence of totalitarian states in the modern world. And so, yeah, I think that you can believe that what you know is sufficient to banish permanently what you don't know. And I do think that that does, paradoxically, although you'd think that that would make you secure, it also does destroy your relationship with, 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 with the spirit that might help you deal with what it is that you really don't know, with the unknown unknowns. So yeah, I mean, we don't know to what degree extreme experience is necessary to bring forth extreme experience, right? What do you have to be through before you encounter a religious revelation? Well, people might say, well, you can't because there's no such thing. It's like, well, don't be so sure about that. I mean, people have reported them throughout history, but they don't generally occur when you're, that's my favorite trope, when you're eating cheesies and playing, you know, and playing Mario Brothers, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So that's the best I can do with that. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah.